welcome to our, our second review of the evening. Um, up this time is Monster Jam Steel Titans, uh, given to us by friend of 8chan THQ Nordic. No, I haven't forgotten what they did. It's just nobody gives a shit anymore, so we're back to reviewing their game. Mm -hmm. but, you know, it's like they did their mea culpas and the world moved on, so here we are. Anyway, as you, um, this is a monster truck game. Um, we are reviewing the Nintendo Switch version, so that means over to Galax for more details, as much as can be provided, because um, we'll be up front. Yes. None of us here are monster truck fans. So this is this is an officially licensed video game of the Monster Jam actual real life monster truck stuff apparently, uh, featuring what I can only assume to be because I did not even know about this until I looked it up, uh, several designs of trucks and also at least one actual character who is presumably it's a it's a woman who does the tutorial thing, who is presumably one of the actual people who is in the Monster Jam thing, and they probably actually got the actual racer to record the voice for that. But this all goes completely over my head because I do not monster trucks. Yeah. Um it has a pretty extensive tutorial about uh, how to go in a go, how to go forward, how to go backward, how to stop, and how to uh, reset your thing. And then, like, there's a there's a reset your car on its wheels button because it's monster trucks. <laughs> You're gonna end up upside down at some point. Um, there's also later in the tutorial after they've covered like driving around and crushing stuff for combos. Um, to get more points, uh, they go over, um, apparently when you're on your side, if you turn, if you drive to one side and also, I think that they might show it on the stupid video here. Apparently there's a way to like spin by turning when your car, like literally the sides of the wheels are on the ground. Mm -hmm. You can, like, spin yourself back onto your wheels by centrifugal force or something. Um, it's easier to pull off than it is to actually describe in the game. So, I mean, if you have to do that, if you're in a race, you're, you've already lost. But <laughs> it, it's nice to be able to. So after that, completing the tutorial, you unlock a the career mode and quick play mode and stuff like that. I think there's also split screen multiplayer, but not online that I could find. Um, mm -hmm. And then you have to come in third in the at least 20 races and not all of them are short. It's outside point to point checkpoint race stuff before you can unlock the like stunt and uh, various other thing modes. And I was not skilled enough to actually unlock that, but I'm not bla like the controls are awkward to me as a person whose racing game experience skews highly towards Mario Kart. <laughs> uh, and it's not exactly like other simulation things either, because I mean, you got the giant fucking tires that give you a lot more, bounce and air and stuff, but you don't really have in the air maneuverability because that's not how actual physics works. But like if you land with your wheels tilted, it'll do weird things. I, I assume this is all like, it seems to be to work the way it's supposed to work. That's just awkward for me. Um, and by doing stuff in the game, uh, you unlock the uh, yellow triangle currency and then you can use that to upgrade your vehicle. And I think you can also, you unlock some, and I think you can purchase color schemes and stuff for some of them. Mm -hmm. uh, so yeah, I, I don't have a ton to say. Like, I assume that someone who's into Monster Jam will recognize the arenas and stuff and the characters and we'll probably get way more out of this than I did, but it seems perfectly functional as a kind of stunt racing game. I'm just not great at it. Uh, does anyone have any questions or anything? I mean, not, not really. Not that my questions would be directed at someone who actually knows what monster jam is. Mm -hmm. and that's here. You know, 
like I said, you know, there are limitations with this review. We will be up front. Mm -hmm. You know, we were given this review code, so we will review the game. It's just, you know, you can't be an expert in everything. And Monster Jam is nobody's jam here. Mm -hmm. So... It's one, yeah, this is I'm, one not, those... I'm not taking that out on the game. It seems fine enough, although the branding is all over the place and the loading times were a little bit long. Mm. Like it's, it's also, like... yeah, mm. it's also we are only reviewing the Nintendo Switch version of the game, so um, we cannot compare this to you know any of the other versions. This game is out on all the major platforms. Yeah, like I don't know if it has achievements or anything because the Switch doesn't. I, I'm like I, I, I assume the... it does. I can answer those questions. Um, it does. Um, 24 uh, achievements on Steam. And usually achievements are, have parity across the um, various platforms. So I assume that would help direct one's experience a little bit more. But yeah, I... Uh, another thing that's weird, but it, I assume is true to the actual Monster Jam thing, is that for the races... In most racing games I've seen, you get three lights so you can count down to try to get your perfect start or whatever. Uh, Monster Jam does not do that. It gets one light and then go after, like, count to three or four in between. Mm. Uh, so I found it really hard to get a perfect start, but you can get a mediocre start. Like, it won't let you false start. So you can get, like, a mediocre start by just... Like you can avoid getting a late start by just holding your gas down. Mm -hmm. um, that could be the Mario Kart experience talking. Mm -hmm. Well, okay. Every kart racer I've seen gives you three lights, and I think three lights is what they do in actual real life also. Mm, I wouldn't doubt it. Mm -hmm. like, so I was just surprised to see three, to just see the green, the, the red light, and then the green light. Mm -hmm. Okay, I actually do have a question here. Um, mm -hmm. do, is there any DLC contained in the Switch version? Uh, if there was, it wasn't labeled, and I didn't see a place to buy it. But again, I didn't unlock all of the modes because you have to come in third overall in a long circuit before you unlock any of the stunt stuff. So, yeah. Um, well, here's the thing: like the Steam version has DLC. It's got the Monster Jam Steel Titans Fire and Ice Truck Bundle, um, which contains 12 Monster Jam trucks based off of real world and toy monster trucks. Oh yeah, they do also have toy trucks. Yeah, um, and they've also got the Monster Jam Steel Titans Bakugan Dragonoid truck. <laughs> that sounds hilarious. Uh, I'm not. E I'm not making this up. We've got Monster Jam meeting Bakugan. What fucking like decade is this? <laughs> I, uh, not that I have a problem with Bakugan or anything. I, yeah, I guess the wheel. Me neither. This is so unexpected. <laughs> Mm -hmm. I mean, uh, it, is it, it didn't. Let, let, let me, me read any... the blurb here. Mm -hmm. I, um, by popular demand, Monster Jam Steel Titans is adding Bakugan Dragonoid to its growing <laughs> list of trucks players can compete in. Bakugan Dragonoid is based off of the Bakugan Monster Jam truck toy from Spin Master. Oh, so, fuck. <laughs> this is apparently an actual toy that exists in this universe. It's not just something created for this game. Uh, um. Make of that what you will, people. Uh, I, I assume by popular demand, it's like of the brand synergies. Or I, I don't know, maybe Bakugan and Monster Trucks are very popular in the same parts of the country. I, I don't know. Anyway, um, I will, I'm will. i looking again to see if I can find a place to buy a DLC. It certainly didn't dump anything in my lap. Uh, well, the question um, is, does it have the Bakugan truck? <laughs> I'm looking to see if there's a place where I can buy it. I didn't uh -huh. see that the first time I played, and I don't think there was any, like, it might be unlockable in the game without paying. I don't know. Again, there are a lot of trucks. Fair enough. And I only unlocked, like, two. <laughs> but, yeah. Um, that, so, yeah, that is the DLC for this game. Uh -huh. um, yeah, and I suppose that'll get us to pricing, so um, I'll handle the pricing because I've got all that here. Um, Monster Jam across the board will run you $29.99. Um, the DLC will run you, for the Fire and Ice Truck Bundle, $3.99, and the Bakugan Dragonoid Truck, 
truck will be one ninety nine separately, five ninety eight uh, complete. Uh, not sure if this game is going to get more DLC down the line. Possible, um, but yeah, the game is thirty dollars across the board, except for the Nintendo Switch packaged version. Yes, this game does come out uh, is also available on physical. And as per usual, this game has the switch tax attached to it. Um, so the game is forty dollars on a uh, physical cart. It, it it's still thirty dollars if you get buy it digital. Yeah, I'm not seeing any place to buy DLC even on the eShop. So okay. the switch version doesn't seem to have that, at least not yet. Yeah. Or if it does, it's unlockable without purchase. Yeah. Yeah, if if the DLC is in the game, you get it some other way. But again, I only have, like, I have unlocked, like, the training truck, which you start with, Northern Nightmare, which is ex- aggressively Canadian, <laughs> and Alien Invasion, which is, uh, the looks kind of like an Alienware PC, I guess. <laughs> Anyway, as far as if this game is worth your $30, I'd say yes if you're into monster trucks. Mm -hmm. Um, Yeah, it depends entirely, I think, on if you're a fan of, you know, this franchise. You are a member of your family. Yeah. I'm like, it's just, this is a little bit beyond our um, capabilities in terms of Will you enjoy it? Like, as a racing trick kind of game, it sounds decent. Um, also worth noting, the Steam version doesn't have any mod support or Steam Workshop support, so that kind of rankled some people who reviewed the game there. But I can... You know. Looking at the ads and stuff for it, it looks it's more a slanted towards the younger crowd, so I can kind of see why there's no mods. Yeah. For what mm-hmm. it's worth... Uh... Sorry, I lost my train of thought there. I was trying to find... I'm looking through the tutorial thing. Oh, yeah, for what it's worth, you can play as a male or female driver inside your car. That That is a nice thing that I guess they technically didn't have to do. I guess. Right. Anyway, um, anything else on Monster Jam Steel Titans? I really wish I had more to say, but that's all I've really gotten from the amount of time I've been able to play this game. And again... Uh, I would have to, like, probably replay the, like, 20-minute series from the start to be able to... 20, 20-minute-plus 20 series from the start to be able to uh, do better, and it would probably take multiple tries. All right. So that'll about do it for Monster Jam here. Um, be sure to tune in after the break. Our final review of the year, Beautiful Bricks, is up next. <laughs> 